Oh yeah, it's me again, I'm back. <laughs> this is an sound odd if you haven't seen the previous video that's uh, linked to this, but I've just done a look at Pinball Illusions for the PC. Let's put this down, just to get straight to the point. Well, a little bit of dirt and I need to clean this. And dust, excuse me. I normally dust my things and keep good care of them, but, uh, oh, it's the label I see. It's this label starting to peel off, unfortunately. So, where was I? Yeah, I was doing a, a look at the PC CD ROM version of the sequel of the sequel of the, the Pinball Dreams, uh, Pinball Illusions, and inside I found Pinball, Illu uh, Pinball Illusions for the Amiga CD32. So, I thought, let's just have a quick look, and I went wandering through this, which is the, the Amiga floppy disk version. <laughs> Inside, I put pimple fantasies as well. So I just want to celebrate. I will be having a, a, a nice, I don't know, chicken and chips meal, and I'm gonna order some, <laughs> order some drink and celebrate because two great games of the CD32 that I sworn I had and misplaced and thought oh, I couldn't have done then. I was gonna buy them again, and I have them. So there we go, pimple fantasies. So this is actually. We can start again now. This is Pinball Fantasies, albeit without the full outer packaging, for the CD Amiga CD32. There we go. Uh, nothing on the back, really. Uh, so it just says Pinball Fantasies Amiga CD32. can hardly read it. Dazzling 256 color graphics, explosive new high quality soundtracks, and it certainly does have that, plus unbeatable fast action gameplay. There we go, 21st Century Entertainment, if I can try and get that in. Most people, certainly with an Amiga, or the CD32, or even with the PC, because I think it came out on the PC, will be so familiar. I think everyone, for some reason, I think the reviews in the magazines would always show this first. So, to me at least, that area there is the most familiar screenshot of Pinball Fantasies. Uh, my favourite was Stones and Bones down the bottom there. The music was eerie, sort of Adam's Family. Well, no, not really Adam's. It's just eerie, cool music. And it was a tough old table, at least for me. But when you did well, you really had a good feeling. Uh, the racing one wasn't too bad as well. So there we go, that's it, really. Um, I think inside the manual... I'll do this so I don't drop the CD, CD out. Uh, I think has... Yeah, has the... Hints of what to aim for. I'm getting white out there. So that's quite good. But not really much else. I think it may have come in a bigger box, or big box, I should say. But I don't think the manual will be much different. And also, many would say it's pinball. You know, at the end of the day, when you have a pinball machine in real life, you don't really have much instructions on how to play it. It is pinball. So, might as well have a quick look at this as well. This is Pinball Dreams and Pinball Fantasies, but in Amiga floppy disk form. A nice solid manual, I must say. Uh, this was released both at the same time. It saved me getting the boxes separately, but I may just get the boxes as well. That's it. Uh, no, it's not Pinball. Uh, sorry, Pinball Dreams first. That's why, and then Pinball Fantasies. Just again explains the tables, and that's it. Off it goes into another language. Let's see what else I've got here. Pinball Dreams or T-shirt off. I would have. Ah, oh, yeah. The mannequin just looks very strange and surreal, but let's have a look at the t-shirt. Pinball Dreams t-shirt there, that looks so good. I'd love to find an authentic one of those. I'm sure there are a few printouts. Uh, I've seen Tarakan shirts, etc. that people on eBay have obviously printed. And of course we've got the whole mug. I don't mean mug mug, but you know, coffee mug kind of thing. Um, the box for this at least... Pimple Dreams and Fantasies I like. If ever I say it's simplistic but it does the job, this should be the one. <laughs> Just a, a black box with the 21st Century Entertainment logo, but what a wonderful logo that is. And you, you see that those that played the game knows that this comes up at least. I don't know if it comes up Pimple Fantasy, I think it does. Pimple Dreams, when this loads, looks awesome. So that, yeah, that does the job. And just a, excuse me, black cover. We've got slightly more on the back. Is that my, yeah, no, no, I'm getting sweaty hands. It's so hot now. There we go. Give that a quick wipe. So there are all the tables. We can also see ignition as well. I'd forgotten that. Steel wheel, always fun music and game plan there. Beatbox I could never get on with. And graveyard. Graveyard I was not a, as good at for some strange reason as Stones and Bones in the sequel. But that had great, they all had great music, but yeah. 
Let's have a quick read here as well. This has turned into a mishmash of boxes. I apologise. Together for the first time, the award-winning Pinball Dreams and Pinball Fantasies brings you eight tables of blistering arcade quality pinball. Try and get that there. Oh, and that's it. goes into other languages. There's the original Digital Illusions logo because I said when I looked at Pinball Fantasies PC and CD32, they changed it. I do prefer this logo. It's a wonderful, funky, modern art logo for back then. So there we go, that's it. Uh, you could say the cover continues around the side because it's just black, but anyway, yeah, that's simple and I like it. And uh, yeah, Pinball Fantasies, that I will now stop. I think what it was is I probably got this. Let me bring back the other one. And and this, so I was looking at what sparks this review. Uh, I have separated this, I'm all over the place now. And I think I probably thought, right, I'll put this in this... Uh, yeah, this in this one, because it's the same game, and this Pinball Fantasies in with Pinball Fantasies. And I, it's literally been maybe two and a half years, and I had no idea I had these. So I'm literally going to go and play some pinball, sorry, on the on the Amiga CD32. So those that watch the, the PC fan, I don't think anyone really cares now. The whole PC Master Race is more of a joke and everything. Certainly for back then in DOS, it wouldn't have mattered so much. So we all just get along retro, surely. So I am going to... Uh, load these up and try these i'm not going to record it because i certainly need to practice but there we go there's my little pinball whoops as i hit the the camera again pinball sort of collection i need to practice certainly but yeah uh pinball anyway what was i looking at really here pinball dreams and pinball fantasy special edition uh this would be floppy disc i do have the disc but they're downstairs um i think there are two no i think there are three discs were there three discs for pinball fantasies two for pinball dreams i think so it'll be five discs all told and nice plain but does the trick awesome logo packaging i need to end this and, and somehow somehow explain what this is I'm just looking at all sorts of games that i've just stumbled upon that i didn't even know i had there we go anyway pimple dreams fantasies illusions the whole thing you can't go wrong with any of them